Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Adrian from AJ Core TV. I wanted to share with you today what I've spent all day trying to understand and figure out. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting close. The issue is when I upload my YouTube video, it wasn't as loud as other people's videos. And I didn't notice at first until I started watching other videos and then I realized I had to like lower the volume. And then every time I watch one of my videos, I had to raise the volume. And so let me show you exactly what I mean. So if you right click on a video and choose stats for nerds, you'll see in this example is someone who has it exactly to the maximum amount. So YouTube will not allow anything louder than this or else they will lower your volume. So this is maximum. This is as loud as it can go. And for reference, let me show you how low mine was. There was mine. There it is. Negative 10. See that? Nine, negative 9.9. .9. All right, so I did a lot of research. I did a lot of uh, reading um, comments and watched some videos and, and things like that. One of the videos that I, I found very, very informative, it was actually over, it still is over my head. It was from somebody named um, Woody Piano. I believe that was his name. I'll link it down below so you can check that out. Um, and in there, he showed the proper clean way of fixing this issue. Today, I'm gonna show you the quick and dirty way of fixing the issue. And now the software that I'm using is called DaVinci Resolve. You click on down over on file and you click on project settings. And let me stop here for a moment to explain LUFS. You see that? So, you know, some of the information that I found was that YouTube's maximum level is negative 13 LUFS. And you want to make sure that you're up as close to that as possible. If you're below that, like in my case, I was almost 10 points below it, then obviously your videos are gonna be lower than what people are um, uploading. So you, you don't wanna sound like the person who's you know low quality or you know people connect uh, low volume to, to low quality and that's not necessarily the correct, um, but you know that's just how humans are. So you wanna make sure that you're even playing field. Once I learned that and I found where in the software that I'm using, DaVinci Resolve, I found this spot right there. Now, this was defaulted at negative uh, 24, which is about 10, you know, 10 point difference, and that's probably why I was um, all you know, all the way at at negative 9.9 .9 in this area. That's why I was lower. You know, one of the reasons I'm sure. So, once I changed this to negative 13. I re-uploaded and I thought that that would fix it, but this is just what this is, is a target for a meter that I'm gonna show you. So let's go ahead and minimize that and let's come up here. So there is the loudness meter, okay? And so now that we set it to negative 13, we want to match this here, these two, you wanna match that to as close as possible to here, which is negative zero. Right, so you want to be as close to negative zero zero as possible. Uh, by us setting the target to negative thirteen, this is going to we're going to try to match that up. So let's go ahead and uh, hit play here. Let's go ahead, reset, start, play, and as this plays, you're going to keep an eye out here. Look at that, right at negative zero, and this this one's kind of like a real time. Uh, there it is. All right, and this is more like an average, but as you see. It's spot on. Now, the reason why it's spot on is not just because I changed the meter target goal to negative 13, but it's spot on because look down here, follow my mouse. I had to raise the main um, gain all the way up to plus seven. Okay. It's defaulted at zero, which is here at this 10 mark. You see? So this was down here. So I'm going to bring down to where it was when I originally recorded this. So there's that right there. Okay, so it's at default. Now let's go back up here to the meter. Let's look at this little short section. See that? 10, 11, 9. That's exactly where I was at. So if we go back to the video that I had, look, you see? 9.9. .9. See that? Now originally my target uh, in the settings was at negative 24. So this was this was probably saying like negative 19. You know, and so I'm um, hoping that this is starting to make more sense to you now. So let's go ahead and scroll back down here. Now I'm going to raise my level back to seven. OK, 
Okay, and it took me a little while to figure that out, but seven, I'm sure 6.8 is fine, but I think, anyways, let's look back up here. Now it's going right back up to uh, where we were before, you know, and uh, you'll see that uh, the max there is negative zero. So as long as this is like at a negative zero by the end of your clip, you should be good to go. Now, if you raise, let's go back down here. If you if you pump up your main gain all the way up to ten, you know there's going to be some 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 clipping, and it's, it's just not going to sound good. You don't want to jeopardize quality either, and that's why. Go ahead and stop this here. As you see, look, you know we end we ended off real, really really good there. If you go back to the video that I'm going to try to link below, he'll show you. He uses actual compression tools, these little meters that um, he has from a company called Waves, and they're like little plugins to uh, in the software that he uses to uh, edit his his audio. If you guys know of a way for me to get those plugins into this software, again, I'd rather just learn one piece of software at a time. That would be great. So the software I use, DaVinci Resolve, the plugins that he uses from a company called Waves, and I forget what they are, but I'm sure somewhere in all these menus, there is a spot for plugins. You know, please help me out. If there's anything in this video that has, you know, maybe helped you out, and you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel one day or uploading videos, or maybe you already have videos and you're just now going to notice, you're going to go and click on the nerd status, right click on the video. Is your video outputting lower than what it could be? If it is, please leave a comment down below. Again, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll continue to put out these type of videos as gaming videos and you know anything else that I, that I can think of. Thank you for the support and I look forward to hearing from you down in the comments. Have a good day.